Morning Tar Heel fans, alumni, students, everyone. My name is Adante. I'm a graduate student in nutrition. I'm here with the Men of Color Engagement in D.C. We're here for a Tar Heel takeover, so join us for the trip. Let's go. We live, baby. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> hey. We are taking over DC. Let's go. You know, we are a, um, and, and, and our words are way better than they used to be. Like, we're clearer about who we are than, than, than uh, like, organizational identity is just like individual identity. Like, at some point in time, like, you know, you're, you know, you have all this sort of stuff and you like find like words to say sort of this is who I am and this is what I'm about. And so, so we're really unapologetic with hard power, right? You know what I mean? Because you actually walk past the very people, right? You know what I mean? Who actually are on the front lines of, of, of whatever, right? Um, um, last, last. Hey UNC, this is Ray Garcia. I'm a rising junior. I'm currently here working at Frontline Solutions in DC. Uh, it's been an amazing experience so far. I'm part of the APJ Fellowship. I am a Howard University of Cave on the picture. And when Howard University came on the picture, uh, it put pressure on the Joint Park for blacks to move in because the blacks had achieved an income at that early age that they could buy these houses. They, they couldn't buy them, but they, they bought them, they bought them. So they bought these houses and put pressure. And they almost had wish rights with like one or two blacks moved into the Joint Park because that was the defense of the White House shock people that they did not want the, the blacks to live in the Joint Park. And However, it has now been cleaned up and we have what we call re-justification. You know, I like that word, re-justification. Re so, blacks were here, so when whites came back, they re it. What, what does that mean? That's, that's, that's quite a word, isn't it? Re just, just like this kind of re -justification. All the whites can re <laughs> But anyway, yeah. So what you see now, 15 years ago, the draw was nothing like this. Nothing, nothing. We had, a, we had a secondary school here, and they decided to close it down. And I thought it right there, I closed it down. But they closed it down, and then after the, the Europeans had moved in, they were so, they wanted that school torn down because they didn't want and if the building in the joint power. So they tore the school down. Now that the new justifiers have come in and they have uh, UNC class of uh, of 03. Um, I uh, what can I tell you about myself? I was a public policy major. Uh, great policy uh, great degree by the way, swear by it. Originally from Queens, New York. I uh, came down to Carolina on a Moorhead scholarship, so got an offer I couldn't refuse. Uh, was very active uh, in Carolina, was uh, an NC fellow, I played rugby, uh, played uh, Alpha Phi Alpha, and um, you know, I think I had the benefit of, of the Moorhead Scholarship to make my summers productive, but I guess the thing that I would try to leave you guys with is how important it is to spend your summers productively, um, and I know that finances are generally tough you know you, you know you're young you don't necessarily have savings but if you can get better experience
Tar Heels, Dante back. Uh, we're just walking through DC. We got a student here who's going to tell you a little bit about what we're doing this afternoon. Hi, I'm Xavier. I'm a junior at UNC. We were uh, we were talking to uh, locals around here, been here for a minute, about how the city's changing, gentrification, regentrification, moving people out, moving people in, and the way uh, with the social structure of the city and the laws that they pass about race and whatnot, and uh, housing really changes the shape and the actual look of particular neighborhoods. And um, you know, just exploring. Cool. What do you want to tell the Tar Heel fans? Uh, Tar Heel fans, you know. Stay hydrated, um, vote, and uh, write your congressman about all the things that are wrong. All right, you heard it. <laughs> See you later. I just see all my friends. Get rid of Tar Heel fans, this is Dante again. We're at the campus of American University in D.C. We've had a long day touring the city, seeing all sorts of great things. I got my Angel here to talk about his experience. Hey, what's up, guys? Angel, first year, rising freshman, pretty excited. Uh, today, pretty much looked around D.C., did a bunch of sightseeing, pretty excited. Got to learn a lot of new things, and pretty much I want to carry this around with me for, you know, pretty much coming into my first year. You got to go look around to find things out pretty much. You know what I mean? What do you want to tell the Tar Heel uh, Nation? Are you excited to be a Tar Heel? No, very excited. Very, very excited. Awesome. All right, go Heels. Like Mark Zuckerberg, can you say? Like, if you can pull it off, that's probably the best way to go. Right? It's just a high risk, high reward strategy. <laughs> <laughs> but it worked out, so. Yes. It's like this. What do you teach me? It's opposite of religion. No, it's, it's all no. religion. It's its own religion. It's all the same. That's true. There is a, there's a, uh, it's an all encompassing, I mean, more than like accounting or finance. It's a social science. So you can study religion and all that. That was my senior course. Where are you from? Uh, Charlotte. I went to high school in Charlotte. My dad was from So, Tar Heel fans, it's Dante here. I got some UNC alums in the house. They're going to tell you about themselves. First one here. CJ, class of 2012. I now work for the Common App. So, I'm Steven, class of 2009. I work in undergrad admissions at Johns Hopkins. I'm Shiva. I just graduated, class of 2017. Uh, and I work for a nonprofit in DuPont. What do you love most about Carolina? Um, the community and the basketball. So for me, I'm actually from an area not too far from Chapel Hill, but in a lot of ways it's home. It's where I've met a lot of my closest friends, um, a lot of my closest professional and social contacts. So, um, and it's just a, a great place to be, particularly in the springtime. So. Uh, the academic preparation I received in Carolina was unmatched. Um, and the critical thinking skills I developed and the community was really amazing. Awesome. All right. Go, go Heels. Heels. Uh, I'm sure as a faculty member. You know, I think this is a great opportunity to uh, get to know students. We spend a lot of time with students in the classroom, but it's not as one-on-one. And, you know, just to be with a small group of guys in different situations, learning different things. Just get a chance. Just to show them Carolina is like a little more personal and it's there for them. Okay. How about you all just being your first trip? Well, I think it's a really great opportunity to allow uh, a very informal setting with the students, right? To see that professors are also human beings and we've got our problems and our mistakes and, you know, we're not always perfect. It kind of put a human element to the professor, right? And then also I get to spend time outside the classroom with the students. And, you know, Carolina students are amazing. They're always amazing. And so it's always been a lot of fun. It's really, I get to learn a lot about them and a lot about the future, right? These young kids and what they're thinking about and what they're doing. And I'm pretty happy about the future. <laughs> well, I appreciate